Hello guys, I'm back with another video and this time most probably this would be my final video with the MI3 unless and until you guys don't ask me for another video or if I get in competition with a good competition regarding this mobile with another phone like maybe I would be comparing it with the OnePlus One CM and CM maybe if I get demand for that maybe not and in this video we will we will be reviewing the ROM that I that I taught you or the tutorial that I uploaded uh, about uh, some time ago back I will be leaving the description I have also uploaded a video regarding the customization you get on an Sun Engine mode or Mocky ROM that we are using on an uh, MI3 W do remember it's W it's for the Snapdragon variant Snapdragon 800 not the NVIDIA variant it's TD so don't mistake it and install it on the TD. It will ruin your mobile. It will heartbreak it. I guess your mobile would be dead by that time. So in this, I will be reviewing this uh, phone. Reviewing this ROM phone. It's awesome. Otherwise, I why would I um, waste so much of time and uh, in install custom ROMs on this? So this is based on Moki ROM it's open source a big thing is that open source because they are play, they're doing open source more because sign engine mode used to be open source but a couple of years ago or last year they went sign engine inc that means sign engine as an independent company so now they are not anymore open source yes they are a developer community they are developing mobile roams for mobiles unofficial nightly is official everything but they are not open source anymore these are open source these are based on sun engine sun engine also provide uh, base for these uh, ROM, these types of roms so that they can also grow so moki what moki does is uh, picks up the sun engine mod rom customize it according to them their needs and uh, puts it out on the market so the basically the last line is they according to them their more uh, giving us options or more customizing uh, regarding uh, on the sun engine and that's a really difficult task to do to give us more customization more than sun engine has already provided us so yeah so this room comes with the uh, nice things like uh, uh, based on android 5.1.1 yeah 5.1.1 it's the latest build not even all Nexus devices have it right now. But the thing is that it's the download, uh, it's a ROM. So when you install it, you need to install the GAPS files also. So it would, uh, it's another task to do. But not a difficult task, it's really not bad, difficult. I've already done it. I've already put a video on that. And this ROM is quite stable, very, very stable, man. So, yeah, a big thing that I noticed about this room was that uh, uh, when you use it on balanced, the phone that you, we are supposed to be using it on, it's a bit laggy on that. Yeah, it's a little bit laggy. You could notice some lag like this, a little bit of transition lag. Now it's okay, but for the first uh, time, you will see a little bit of lag. Yeah. But uh, if I do it on performance mode, the moment I shift it on performance, now see the difference. No lag. Nothing, man. Same mobile, everything. Just we have shifted one thing and the lag is gone. As you can see, there's no lag. So I keep, I tend to keep it on performance. Maybe that's a big that uh, bug that they are, uh, they may be resolving or something. I don't know. But on performance, it works really good. My battery lasts for a day or so, so I don't really complain about that. On the performance, if balance would be giving me one and a half day, then uh, performance will be giving me about a full day, and I would rather go for a performance and no lag with uh, more battery and a lag. So, in this, uh, the ROM is very stable. It's, I'll show you it's running on Android 5.1.1 Yeah, and yeah, it's running on Mocky ROM 
the transitions and everything it's really good it's really stable some bugs are like uh, I've encountered this bug if you have yep this and now if we yeah only this is auto auto thing then we go back into the portrait and then we try it's not going I don't like my lock screen on on um, like what do you call it at landscape so I only I keep it switched off and portrait see the animation the 5.1 animation is there so I keep it switched off and uh, whenever I need it I switch it on and use it or something the 30 I keep it on 30 minutes on this high, high accuracy for GPS and the ROM is really stable if you are having an MI3 and you would like to use lollipop which is uh, stable but uh, also very highly customizable so you must go for this ROM you yeah see the transition effects we can change everything I have added a video about that in that video I, I may have forgot to add the double tap to sleep we get only double tap to sleep on the status bar nothing else uh, for that uh, only yeah so for this and if you go into CPU-Z say you as you can see it shows Snapdragon 801 but it is Snapdragon 800 if you search the if you search this uh, model number of this chipset it will tell you it's Snapdragon 8 sorry guys it will tell you it was Snapdragon 800 it's Pro AB is for I guess 4G or something like that I really don't know Great 400 design and you can see as you can see it's on performance it's running on the highest cores the moment we do it on perform uh, power sensor balance yeah now it's running half that's the problem that uh, the moment you do it on uh, balance mode it goes on single core or dual core I guess it's only running single core that's the problem uh, the mo and now I've done it on performance as you can see all the cores are working together it's true quad code type thing yeah and as you can see the system MI3W this is the code name for that uh, uh, that has been used code name or the name that uh, developers use for this and Xiaomi MSM the board the uh, yeah Android version 5.1.1 1080p screen big thing 1080p screen 5 inch 1080p 2 GBs of RAM uh, available RAM 44% internal storage this available storage only 21% I have been using this mobile root access has been given me uh, battery health is good 50% left you can see the thermal nothing's going up above 50 and I have been sure using this mobile very heavily for the for uh, like 20-25 minutes I have been shooting a video before this also I will be uploading these two videos at uh, different um, days but you, you as if you notice you can get, see the timing and all so yes it's heating a little 50 51 degrees but uh, you can't feel anything maybe in uh, internally you can't feel anything outside yeah. nothing a little bit yeah but not more than 40 43 sensors it's already 31 degrees and 3 3:30 a.m. in Delhi. So, if you get without fan and without AC, this is room because this is my makeshift room. So, if it's 45, 46 degrees, that's good enough. The sensors are really good. All are working. Like you can see the proximity sensor also. Yep, everything is working. And we have also done the enter to benchmark on this. We got a really good score on that it opens up yeah we got a really good score above yeah we got 46,000 I guess 43,000 the first time I did it I did it again yeah, I got 46,000 so yeah Sun Engine is really pushing it hard on this mobile you're getting really good uh, ROM the, if you can install this ROM with my guide uh, you want lolly for flavor on a MI3 great build and great uh, software 
great specs for a great price. Everything is great about this, except MIUI 6 because it's still running on Android KitKat. So you can go for this ROM and wait for MIUI to come with Lollipop and then you can go back to that. This is stock Lollipop, stock Lollipop. it's more than better than anything you can get. For. Yeah. I've been using it for more than a week now. Yeah, I got, uh, started it uh, eight days ago. Yeah, eight days and it's been pretty good. No random reboots. The big thing is the random reboots have been uh, have been dealt with and uh, it's re really good performance. No lag, better performance also. So I hope you guys like this video and. Uh, do hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and give me and uh, do leave a comment if you didn't like uh, this video and uh, if you give it a thumbs down also please tell me what's wrong with it please subscribe to the uh, please subscribe to the channel it really helps me to regain confidence that I can uh, do this I can I have just now started this channel so I don't really need those subscribe buttons subscribe numbers to grow so that I can make more and more videos on that. I will be doing more of this stuff more from now on. Now my holidays have started from college, so I will be doing this stuff more. So stay tuned for this. Thank you very much, guys.